Damien Hurst is an artist, businessman and art collector who was born in Bristol, United Kingdom and nowadays is one of the richest artists in the world. At 12 years old, living in Leeds, his father left him and his family. Hurst was arrested two times for robbing a grocery store and dropped school. His art professor helped him to get back to sixth grade so he could finish high school, thing he did successfully. He studied art in Goldsmiths University of London, where his first request was rejected. In 1988, Hearst organized an independent student art exhibition called Freeze. With some sponsors and thanks to the influence of some teachers, the exhibition was visited by Charles Satchi, a millionaire that later will be important for Damien's life. Two years later, in 1990, Hearst and a friend organized two warehouse shows called Modern Medicine and Gambler. Sachi arrived to the second show and according to one of Hearst's friends, he stood open-mouthed in front of Hearst's creation a thousand years, which he bought afterwards. A Thousand Years is one of the first successful artworks from Damien and it consists of a large glass case containing maggots and flies fitting on a rotting cow's head. Starting there, he became, if not the richest, one of the richest artists in the world. One year later, in 1991, Sachi offered to finance every artwork from Damien so he could speculate. The result was exhibited in 1992 in the first exposition of young British artist in Sachi Gallery. The work was called The Physical Impossibility of Death in the Mind of Someone Living. It is a shark in formal height in a vitrine and was sold for 50,000 pounds. The shark was captured by a fisherman in Australia and costed $6,000. That year, he was nominated for Turner's Prize, but didn't win. This artwork put Hearst on the map. Hearst's first major international presentation was in the Venice Biennale in 1993, with the work Mother and Child Divided. A cow and a calf cut into sections and exhibited in a series of separate vitrines. One year later, in 94, presented Away from the Flock, which is a ship also in a tank full of formaloid. In 1995, Hearst won the Turner's Prize and continued to make solo shows of his works in Seoul, London, Salzburg and more. In 2000, his sculpture Him won a pole position in an important art show and was sold to Sachi in 1 million pounds. This artwork was about 6 meters tall and represents the inside of the human body, the organs, the eyes, the brain and also some parts of skin and blood. Another giant sculpture was done by him in 2002, named Charity. It is about a little girl carrying a bear and a carton box. This girl seems like is using a metal leg or a type of prosthesis. Both artworks, him and Charity, are made mostly with painted bronze and some silver and gold. Hearst got the record for the most expensive work of art by a living artist in 2007 with his work named Lullaby Seasons, which was sold for $19.2 million. They are four steel cabinets filled with more than 6,000 pills each. They represent the four seasons of the year. Also in 2007, an exhibition of Hearst's new work. The centerpiece was For the Love of God. It is a human skull recreated in platinum and adorned with 8,601 diamonds. Approximately 
15 million worth of diamonds were modeled on an 18th century school. The asking price for, for the love of God was 50 million pounds. It didn't sell outright till August 2008, one year later. Hearst continues to make art nowadays and has a lot of artists that work for him and execute his ideas. In 2010, his wealth was valued at 215 million pounds, which makes him the richest living artist to date. His work has also been used in advertising for some brands like Absolute and some museums. He is recognized mostly for his work with cabins full of formaldehyde. I remember when I opened my first bank account, the, the bank manager said, what do you do? I said, oh, I'm an art student. He went, oh, and he started to pull the face. Now I get Christmas cards from my bank manager. <laughs> I'm sure.